Hi everybody, all my followers, uh, be welcome to another video. Um, a slightly different video here today. I was um, asked uh, on a video that I published um, quite recently. Um, obviously this video, uh, you're gonna watch this down the road uh, in six months time or so. That's the delay on my videos. Uh, today is the 3rd of February, I think, 2020. Um, so yeah, but uh, on a video that I published not long ago, um, I was asked the, the question, um, actually I was asked the question many times in the past, or a few times on other videos, but, um, but this time, when I was asked the question, um, funny enough I have everything here ready, I have all the criteria to actually be able to record this and to show you. So I decided to make this educational video, if you want to put it like that. Uh, and the question was the following, uh, what exactly changes on a voxel, uh, the video I think was for a Corsa D, um, and uh, the question was what actually changes when you reset the ECU? So when I mean reset, uh, it meant by this person meant to reset is virginize, uh, tech to reset, there's so many different names people call it, but basically it's, uh, divor uh, it's divorced the ECU from the car, it's a reset. Uh, I wish all the manufacturers would make it this easy because it would be so much easier for the reutilization of modules etc. Some some manufacturers they made it an absolutely nightmare to actually reuse, reutilize uh, modules. Um, nowadays with all the environmental issues etc. it would be so much easier if you would make it a little bit easier to replace, to reutilize modules rather than scrap and get new ones. Um, Vauxhall for a long time. I don't know if the latest uh, the latest modules is that easy, but from the beginning, uh, Vauxhall made it quite easy to um, to actually uh, reutilize modules. Now, um, in this case, guys, we're going to be using an engine ECU. Um, I have other modules here. Um, I could go through one by one and show you exactly what changes, but it's a lot of work involved um, and and. To be honest, um, unless this is something that really gets um, the 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 really gets the interest of my viewers, I'll might or might not do. I'll make this one for sure because I was actually working on this ECU, and I think it'll be interesting to show you what happens. So what we're going to be doing here, guys, is quite simple. I have um, an ECU here already connected, um, already connected on a bench to. Um, Opcom, okay. I'll, I'll take you through everything in a bit. So it's just connected here on the bench. Uh, this is a faulty ECU. Uh, it's one of those water damage uh, ECUs. Uh, it's still connecting to the car, etc., etc. Everything is, is fine uh, in, the, in, in, in that concern. It's just the fact that there is some circuits broken inside the ECU, um, and I don't have schematics. It's nearly impossible. I managed to figure out a couple ones. So as you can see, there is a jump wire right there. There is another jump wire um, on the back side of the ECU. So I managed to trace um, a few uh, circuits using other old ECUs that I have. But I was using damage ECUs to try to figure it out. So anyway, that's that's no part of the video. I'm already um, deviating off the matter of this one. So what, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, what looks like on the actually um, um, what actually looks the the EPROM without or the ECU without being virginized so I have already made a backup of that uh, EPROM on the ECU and um, and I will show you uh, how the data how the, how the data looks like then we will be resetting the ECU okay then we'll be reading the EPROM again and then I will show you, we'll go through a comparison uh, program and I will show you the difference. So that's what we're going to do. So with no further ado, I'm going to show you what the data looks like on the actual issue at the moment. So we, you, we will be able to confirm um, uh, the pin code, we'll be able to confirm the VIN number so you can see the, the, the dump, the dump. You can see the file I have in there <laughs> is actually from this module. And then I'll show you uh, afterwards uh, as I said, once we reset this U, I'll take you through everything in there, how it's done. Um, so, no further ado, let's go. I'm going to show you that. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the EPROM, the, the EPROM, the backup from the ICU, as I said. So uh, that is that one in there. Okay, so uh, I think you can see on the screen. I'm sure you can see. Uh, you can pause if you want. But so this is the date of my ECU. The ECU is just seen on the bench. So we have my VIN number right here at the top. As you can see in there, it goes up to here. It goes up to here. So this is my 17 digit um, VIN number. I'm not worried about showing VINs or PIN codes. This ECU is, is a, um, a spare ECU. Um, I bought the ECU. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be reutilized anyway. And even if I wanted to reutilize, I would have to change VIN numbers, PIN codes to obviously match the card where I would fit this. So it's, that's not my uh, concern. But there is my 17 digits uh, VIN number. Pay attention to this VIN number in there. So you can then, when I show you on the ECU, you will see that it's exactly the same. Okay. And pay attention also right here after is my part number. Okay. Right there, 551, five, blah, 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 blah. Then we have the CN, the index code, or alpha code, whatever it's called. Then we have the ECU type, Mar Morel 0100. Then we have a few more ID numbers, a few more, and then we have the engine code, where this ECU comes from, Z13DTJ. Then a few more numbers, etc. And then we have my pin code. So if you have one of these and you want to know where the pin code is, is right here. That's where my pin code is. Line uh, 0x, uh, 0F0. Okay, so that's where my pin code is. And my pin code is 9850. So keep this number in your head, 9850. And pay attention to my VIN number. So when I show you in there, you're going to see that everything matches. This is the dump from is the dump. Uh, here I go again. This is the file from that EPROM from that ECU. So it's everything matched. This obviously is still programmed to a car, including injector codes. We'll go through the lot. Okay, I'll show you over there. But yeah, so this is my file. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now. We are just going to turn around, and here we have. Sorry about the cheeky cheeky. Let me get this correct. Okay, so we have this here connected. Um, so we have the ground there. We have voltage here, ignitions, uh, voltage, and then can high and can low, the, the green and the, the yellow. Uh, you can find the pinouts for this quite easily, guys. I went through the wiring diagrams in my case, uh, just to quick figure out, but you can find all these online with a quick Google search anyway. Opcom connected, okay. And we're gonna go now. I'm already on a Corsa D, blah 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 blah, to save some time. So let's gonna connect to the engine ECU. So it's gonna read all my information. So the first thing I want you to do is to, to confirm the VIN number with the with the one I've just showed you on that file. You're gonna see everything match. Uh, the engine code, ECU part number, all the numbers afterwards. Okay, programming date. 2007 1126 Morelli 0100 M07005 Alpha code CN System name 603 and then the code index version So as you can see everything match And now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you that everything still obviously still an ECU that is still programmed to a car still has inj uh, injected codes uh, The VIN number obviously once again there is we do have everything else from tires, uh, variant configuration, high speed can bus, what, what modules are uh, or not present. <coughs> Excuse me. And now you remember the pin code. So forget about this 4718. This is something else I was doing uh, with some other modules. So this is not for this car. Uh, the pin for this car, you remember guys what was on there? Actually, I need to go and check. Okay, so my pin code is 9850. So now he's going to tell me that once this is done, I won't be able to start the car, blah, 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 blah. But reset, completed. 
successfully. Actually, he didn't tell me that. But, uh, but okay, reset, completed, successful. Now I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to just quick jump out of the ECU. And go in again. And as you can see, everything's still there. VIN number, uh, engine, everything is still there. When I come to programming, you can see my um, codes are still here. Injector codes, the VIN number still here. Obviously, you can change it if you want then, once you go to program to another car. But you can see that nothing actually changes. All the parameters, they stay. You see? However, when I come to display immobilizer status, it's going to tell me my immobilizer function is no longer programmed. So I, I probably should have showed you this at the start. It would show yes, programmed. Now that we reset, it tells me no. So the ECU is ready to be programmed again. So if I go back now, there we go. Uh, if I go back now and uh, I'm going to read the EEPROM of this ECU again and we're going to see exactly what changed. Okay, let's going to remove this EEPROM. EEPROM is right here by the processor. There we go. Now we're going to put it onto the adapter. Blah. Okay, that should do. Okay, now we're going to open a new file. Let's select my chip is a ST9500. Okay, let's going to read that. Hopefully all the connections are good. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> it's not going to work if I don't connect CarPro, if I don't connect Xprog. Oh dear, sorry about that guys, let's try this again. Oh come on, I know why, hold on. Options, environment, calm, USB, read, there we go. Read my device. So this is a virginized ECU and Let's gonna actually file save us and now I'm gonna save this as the same as the other one but I'm gonna hide in there space reset it's gonna save these on my desktop and now let's gonna open my software where is the so okay so that's the reset so that's the original now we're going to open file number two, which is my oh. uh, reset, open, straight away I know there is differences. So as you can see my pin code is actually the same, it's still in there look, still there. So this is the original, this is the, um, the reset one, it still has the pin code in there, can you see that? Okay, but as you can see, there's a few data here that changed. So, it changed the data there, the data there, so that's going to go through the difference. So, if I synchronize a, this, it's going to go to the first difference. So, the first difference is there, E2, it changed to E3, 4D changed to 4C. And obviously up here as well. More difference down here. So that was the, the line we just seen. Then more 
changed down here look at that okay it's going bit by bit and then more difference down here more difference down here down here down here down here so a lot of difference as you can see look at that all these this everything that shows green is things that are being changed uh, during the reset okay oh look at that that's the original one it's all zeros when he resets he actually put some data in 40 difference so far 41 let's carry on so loads of difference oh that is it 61 differences that's gonna so from here they're gonna uh, scroll both at the same time so we're gonna go up and you can see everything that is green is changed so when you do a reset it's not as simple as delete the VIN number or del <laughs> delete the pin code that's not what happens what happens as you can see everything remains in there the only thing that happens is this issue now will accept a different code so whatever data is changed once you are connected to the car uh, through the immobilizer or BCM you will this issue will now accept a different pin code okay you will accept a, a different pin code to be programmed uh, you and and once that's done then obviously you can change VIN numbers you can change um, um, variant configurations you can change injector codes you can change the lot so that's all he does as you can see is not uh, as simple as a clear off the pin and that's it uh, that's it for this video uh, so just to show you uh, what happens when you reset a engine ECU uh, from a Vauxhall in this case a Corsa D uh, and in this case uh, uh, MJD uh, 603.S3 uh, just please remember if you are resetting a ECU from a Astra a ECU from a, a Corsa C ECU from a Mariva, uh, a Bosch ECU, a Siemens ECU, what changes in the ECU is most likely to, to be different and is most likely to be in different positions. So don't think the, the addresses where this data has been changed is going to be the same for every single ECU because that most likely is not going to be the case. So I just thought as uh, entertaining as a, a educational purpose only, it would be interesting to show you this. And obviously uh, I was requested so I believe some of my viewers have interested on that have some interest on that so that's it really uh, hope, hopefully you have learned something um, hope you enjoyed the video uh, guys if you still have any questions any comments please put them below and like always thank you for watching